hi everyone welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here so um i actually mentioned that um i wore my get a bag if you watch that unboxing i'll link it up here and then in the description box but there was an hermes haul i have a new bag uh, the get a bag and i told you that i actually wore it already once for one occasion and that it was a completely different story so here is the story i was just so obsessed about getting the Hermes appointment in Paris. I wanted it so bad. I knew I couldn't do it um, when I was pregnant because it's difficult. I knew I couldn't do it when uh, I just had Adele because I didn't have any help with her. I, you know, stayed home with her and it's not like I could travel in the morning to Paris to go to my appointment with the baby, like, no. And now, ever since we got the nanny, I've started doing, um, like, trying to get this appointment, so applying for it online. And I did it every single day, and I have decided to start doing it in the morning. So I think this is one of the tips on how to get an appointment in Paris. This is what I did, and it worked like the second day it worked before i would do it in the evening and that never worked but once i did it in the morning like at 10 30 i got the appointment and i was putting adele to bed and i had my apple watch and i received this notification i'm like oh what is this i looked and it was a mess that my appointment was confirmed my hand started to shake i got so excited you just do not understand how excited i got and my appointment was for the next day obviously as they do at uh, 2 p.m so what i did <laughs> i went immediately to sbb website uh, to book myself a train ticket to go to paris so i got myself a train ticket i left to paris the next morning so i went there at 8 a.m i was already on the train i arrived to paris at around 11:30. I went to have lunch and then slowly I got to my appointment. It started like 30 minutes earlier. So always check your appointment time. I feel like that's very important. I got it at the Sev store and you know, I was so excited. The, the store looked so beautiful. I've never been there. And from the outside, it doesn't even look as massive as it actually is on the inside, but it was just so ginormous. They had a separate section uh, for ready to wear shoes and all of that stuff and then they had a separate area downstairs for the leather goods and for the leather goods appointments so i went downstairs i introduced myself i gave them my passport uh, you know to prove that i am who i am <laughs> on the appointment list and uh, then they asked me to wait and then the essay approached me. He was actually the first guy I approached uh, to ask about the appointment. And he, he said to go to the desk and then it was actually him uh, helping me out. And so we started to chat and, uh, um, you know, he asked me about my wish, what I wanted, what I was looking for. I told him exactly what I was looking for. Um, I gave him, he asked me to give him multiple options. So that's what I did. Um, I was, not too specific but not too vague at the same time so i gave him options and you know he was like okay i'm gonna go take a look and so he left and it took him ages so i waited for him for about 10-15 minutes and in my head i was already seeing him coming out with the box you know with this beautiful bag and i was just so excited and then um he approached me and he was like you know what unfortunately we don't have anything and i'm like excuse you are you kidding me i'm like you don't have anything anything that i told you or anything anything at all and he was like the shelves are empty we don't have anything we never got any deliveries for the bags and i'm like what because one of the things I told him is that I wanted a smaller bag. And then he said, well, let me check what I can find in terms of a smaller bag. But it's not going to be a BRK. Those bags aren't available today. I'm very sorry. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I came here all the way from Geneva at 8 a.m just to get to your store just to get myself a bag because that was my dream to get an appointment and go there 
and you know I've been trying to get an appointment for many many years not consistently but I tried over I, I don't know five four or five years and it was the first time that I got the appointment and I was just so excited about it I you know I was just so upset and so devastated and I felt so stupid for going to Paris all the way to Paris to get a bag and not being offered one like nothing not even a constance so he came out and he came out with uh, this little bag over here so let me show it to you it is not a b it is not a k i was so so sad and upset but in the end of the day everything kind of um fell into places so i'll tell you let's open it first so i already opened it i have the receipt over here the good thing is that i could at least get it tax free but it still didn't cover the expense of my travel to paris my train ticket but oh well so we have the care booklet and the dust box so he said this is the only like small bag that they had the other one was the her bag but i mean seriously a her bag I can get a hair bag anytime when I want to in Geneva. It's not that difficult, you know. I didn't have to travel all the way to Paris to get it. So he brought me the mini Evelyn. So this mini Evelyn is in gold color, but it's slightly different gold color. Let me tell you the exact name. It's written over here. Mm. It says for book, sangle, wooly. Oh, it's for gold. For gold. Um, I see a little bit of difference. I feel like this gold is slightly darker to the regular gold that you have. It's not the typical, typical gold, but it's still so beautiful. Um, the white stitching is just it's so perfect and then we have the dust bag with the strap the strap is the basic strap and the the bag itself is in um, silver hardware so when he brought it out i was <laughs> my face was so like you could tell by my face that i felt so disappointed that this wasn't why i traveled all the way to Paris and got an appointment like to go to my Hermes appointment this is also one of those bags that is well relatively easy to find in Geneva you just have to be lucky maybe not the color but the bag itself sometimes the color really depends but he was like aren't you happy with that like you look so disappointed and so upset I'm like well, obviously I am upset because I came to Leather Goods appointment hoping that I will get a B or a K or like a Constance at least, you know, but not an Evelyn. I mean, I told him that I'm from Geneva. I told him that these bags are more or less easily available in Geneva. Like you can always find one there and you don't need an appointment to do that. And he was so surprised. He's like, you don't need an appointment for Leather Goods in Geneva. I'm like, no, you just go there and these bags just are offered to you whenever they're available it's not like this bag is in deficit or something you know that's what i told him and he was like so don't you want to get it you look so like upset aren't you happy that at least we found this bag in this beautiful color like the neutral i'm like well honestly not really and i wanted to be honest with him and i told him like if you know you don't have any stock why give the slots to people to like uh, leather good slots <laughs> you know because Hermes in Paris is famous for the appointments because you can actually get Birkin or Kelly there and you don't have to wait in huge like lines you don't have to be on a wish list you can just get lucky and get it 
in store and I thought I would be that lucky person because whenever I go on YouTube people are just oh my god this was my very first trip to Paris and I got an appointment and they offered me B25 or a K25 or a mini Kelly or a concert or whatever you watch all of these videos and you think that it's just so easy once you get an appointment you 100% will get the bag this is so not true so not true and I'm the proof of that and it wasn't just me it was actually everybody else in the room they really just did not have any bags and I can't say it's their fault but it's sort of their fault um, and then I asked him about the to go they didn't have them I asked him about the the farandol necklace that I wanted they didn't have that I asked him a bunch of different things I asked him about the slim um, Constance wallet they didn't have that they did not have anything at all I felt so upset and I felt so stupid for even going to Paris so I was like yes it's cute but at this point i didn't even want to keep this bag because it's not why i went to paris and i was so upset and i know this bag will only like if i keep it it will only remind me of the you know shitty time when i went to paris for a day to score a BRK and i got the mini avalon this is so ridiculous so ridiculous i swear and I think this was one of the biggest disappointments <laughs> with my shopping experience like ever I've never felt this stupid in my life and I've never felt this upset and sad in my life over buying something this is so sad and I was thinking of selling this bag to someone who really wants an Evelyn Mini um, but then you know my mom actually told me well when you go to Hermes Geneva ask them about me Evelyn because um, my sister really wants one like my aunt and it's very difficult in Kazakhstan you have to have a history and you have to spend so much money 20k on random things just to be offered a tiny bag like this one so it's quite difficult to get anything in Hermes boutique over there so sometimes I can buy something here and then um, and I'll offer it to my mom or my sister or my aunt and uh, you know I was like to my mom but I have this mini Evelyn in gold offer it to her if she wants to take it I'll be happy if she loves the bag if she like if she, and she loves silver she only wears silver no gold so she was over the moon happy to get this bag and it made me feel so much better about me going to Paris and getting it you know at least it wasn't for nothing at least my aunt like this was the bag of the dreams of my aunt like she really wanted exactly the style this color this hardware everything so this really you know put my heart at ease and um i'm not super mad about that trip anymore because i know um, I didn't go there for nothing I know there is still like a person who I love so so much um, will enjoy this bag and love this bag and so I'll think that I went for my aunt <laughs> to get her this bag and yeah this is like the saddest story ever so guys when uh, people tell you it's so easy to get a bag in Paris that's bullshit it's not true so I'm gonna keep it in the box until I'm able to send it to my aunt and hopefully she love and enjoy it so much on the way back on the train on the way back to Geneva I was just so upset that I went online and I was browsing through um, Hermes online store and I was so lucky with this purchase so so lucky I saw it available Apple pay double click and it was mine so you know actually it was a win at the end of the day i'm glad i went to paris because if i didn't i wouldn't go on the website and score this bag if i didn't i wouldn't score the bag that my aunt really really wanted so at the end of the day i am happy that i went but it's not a b or a k unfortunately <laughs> maybe next time when i am actually in paris when i'm staying there i'll be able to get I'll be able to get an appointment and get a bag but 
here it is. This is a more special bag. Um, it's something that I've never seen, I've never had in my collection. It's a newer style as well, so. Ta-da! Here it is. Let me remove the cloth. Oh, it is so beautiful. The strap, it's adjustable, so you can make it longer or shorter. But let me remove the cloth and I'll tell you a little bit more about this bag. And so here it is. I scored this beautiful Gypsier mini bag. This is a newer style. Well, I mean the Gypsier existed for a very long time, but this particular Gypsier is actually a newer um, Hermes bag because it's in size mini. And Sorry, my camera got heated up and hopefully I'll be able to finish this video before it switches off again but um, this is a mini size so that's what new about this handbag it's in palladium hardware in black color i think this is the perfect combo also this leather type i'm not sure what the name is but it's super smooth it's very easy to scratch so i gotta be very careful with it um it comes with this strap it's the same one as on the evelyn and other similar bags uh, from her mess and it does make this bag look a little bit more casual and everyday. I wish I could remove the strap, but unfortunately there is no possibility of doing that. The strap is staying, but otherwise I would love to, you know, switch it up to a leather strap or something like that to turn it into a more evening bag. And um, let's open it. I love that it has this Kelly lock, by the way. It's is just so cool and because of this closure um, it was actually quite expensive <laughs> it is an expensive bag what can i say this is what it looks like inside we have a slot like a compartment over here it says hermes paris and that's it the bag is quite small on the inside only fits the essentials and nothing more the size i would say is pretty similar to the wallet on a chain it is quite tiny but that's why it's called a mini bag and i have never seen it before and i just got so excited when i saw it available online that i purchased it so fast without even thinking and when it arrived i just fell absolutely in love with it and I can make the strap very long to crossbody it, which is also very cool too. There is that option. Um, it doesn't have any feet at the bottom. It's a beautiful bag. It's something you don't see that often on the streets, but also I feel like the style that you see a lot is the regular size Gypsy Air or, or a large size, so like older styles um, but for the mini one honestly i have never seen it on anyone um, in real life before so i'm glad i managed to get it they also then had an a tube color which is so stunning as well but it was already sold out and i'm very happy with the black i think it is just you know the perfect um neutral the perfect basic color especially for a bag like this and i cannot wait to start wearing it comfort wise i would say it's not very comfy to use because of this part this uh flap is kind of long and it's not very easy to close and open the bag it takes a little bit of time and at the same time it looks a bit awkward when you keep it open so yes comfort wise not the most comfortable but look wise i love the way it looks i think it's just so sleek it's so fresh it's so modern it's very very cool I love it so so much and I'm just so happy to add it to my collection. Major positive thing about me going to Paris is definitely this bag. Um, I'm super super duper happy with it and uh, yes as I said before if I didn't go uh, to Paris if I didn't get disappointed there I would never go online and I would never purchase um, this bag because <laughs> ever since I bought it I like I was checking the website constantly non-stop and they never had this bag available 
again and it's been um, a month already i think no a little bit less than a month maybe three weeks but it is still possible whenever you expected the list it will show up it will be on the website available and waiting for you so i would say um check the websites as well you can always find you know little gems like this one this bag is also very very hard to find in store that's what i've been told and uh, they are quite rare because uh, because it's a new design and they just don't produce a lot of them so super duper happy in the end we got a happy ending even though i felt so broken <laughs> after that appointment in paris and after this appointment i've just decided to never ever get the appointment unless i am already in paris and staying there for a few days um so i'll just keep my luck in geneva store i go there regularly anyway and i hope that very very soon they'll offer me a bag were you lucky at her mess in paris let me know in the comments below i'd love to know anyway my camera is dying already but this is my not so positive experience with her mess in paris um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> thank you so much for watching follow me on instagram it's at and i'll see you in the next one bye